Alrighty guys, welcome to another constructed tutorial and in this video I'm actually going to be clearing a lot of stuff up and everything all your thoughts are going to be starting to come together because I'm going to be showing you guys how these different things react with one another. So in the last tutorial what I did is as you can see I took this blue box and I added a behavior called platform behavior to it. Now under in the description we saw it pretty much said react to all things that are solid which pretty much means anything that's solid this player just won't fall through it however how does it know what is solid and not well in order for that game to determine what kind of things this player should jump on or be able to jump on and fall through we need to give the ground a solid property so in order to do, or excuse me a solid behavior I don't want to say property so in order to do that just go ahead and select one of these tiles right here and what we want to say is make this tile behave like a solid object so just add a behavior since that's how we want it to behave oh yeah I forgot just text me again I'll tell you guys what Ralph said um where is it so for if you didn't watch the last video some got one of my friends told me to go to Google and type in people coffin and then he goes doesn't it look like everyone is giving the invisible man a BJ so that's I didn't even look at Google but I'm sure it does so thank you all for uh, pointing that out and uh, that's what I have to deal with with my friends I don't know he's actually a pretty cool dude so once we have a behavior that we want to add to this uh, tile click add and of course select solid now I'll show you guys what that platform behavior was it says jump and run between platforms pretty much this dude can stand on um, solid objects anything that has a platform so of course we want to say the ground is going to behave like a solid object so now you can see we now added the solid behavior to this ground right here and the cool thing about this is since we can actually close out of this right now is since these are instances instances of this first one if you double click this or excuse me just click on any of these other tiles you can see that they have the solid behavior too and I talked about instances in the last tutorial or not in the last tutorial in my last uh, series on construct 2 the beginner series and an instance is basically a copy of this that shares a lot of the same properties so it's pretty cool whenever we did that so we don't have to add the behavior to every individual one so now it says this block remember can now stand on the solid ground it isn't invisible to it so that's good but we have one little issue we didn't tell the game yet to associate this image with a block if we just played the game right now we could go left and right with this invisible block but the dude would stay there because he's not actually connected to this even though he looks like it so how do we do that well in order to do that we actually need to head over to the events sheet and we're gonna add a new event and again watch the last tutorial series if you don't know what an event is but basically double click the space right here or I actually like clicking this link for some reason we're gonna add a system event that happens on every tick so double click system and click every tick and hit done so basically we wanna check continuously for the game and what do we wanna um, update well basically we want an action to occur again every pretty much tick and what we want to do is oh, I like swallowed a freaking tomato or something what we want to do is we want to add an action and we want to choose player and if you go down to size and position we have to find it size or excuse me set position to another object under size and position and double click this what this is going to do is it's pretty much going to say take that player and set his position or put him wherever another object is so we're pretty much going to say take this player and put him exactly where that box is so of course the object is this box sprite 2 and for the image point we're just going to leave that at zero and click done so now I'll show you guys what's going on with the game so basically we can move this guy around by pressing left right and have him jump by pressing up down but actually we aren't moving this guy at all 
even though you can't see it, and even though it looks like this to the player, we're actually moving that box up and down and left and right. And we know that we're moving the box because this box has the platform behavior, meaning that he can jump on solid objects. However, what we did in the event sheet is we basically said, take this player, which is this guy right here, and pretty much set his position to wherever the box is, which is this right here. And the reason that we did that is now, whenever we do something like this, we go off the screen and his shoes go off. It actually is making sure that it's, it's actually checking for this blue box right here instead of this entire, um, the coin or whatever it is, the coin with like a, um, a tree in his hand. Whoever invented this character is a little weird. But anyways, I'll show you. So now, before, I'll restart that game. Before, it would just fall off as soon as it got to this point right here. But now, as, as soon as his shoes fall off, he falls off. So again, that's what we did. And that's why you need that little uh, box right here rather than this player. And actually, I forgot to do one thing. I actually want to rename this box to player box instead of sprite 2. And also that should uh, update everything in your event sheet as well whenever you change the name. So anyways, now that we got all the logic and now that we know how to make a proper reaction box connected to the image, we're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then.